you know what i'm not even going what's on youtube back to another video if your day's not going good i hope tomorrow is better never subscribe to the subscribe button under the cage bell or subscribe for your loyalty y'all see that that's am mind you stop playing man we here we back with another rating video i think this is episode nine Whew, i told y'all weekly damon this better be up on monday like I said, being that we are doing the shorter, more frequent videos, what I'm going to do is put a cap on the amount of ratings that I do in one video. I'm going to be doing 20 ratings in every single one of the videos. So, I mean, without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get right into it. Let's go. All right. So going back down this list, it looks like I kind of missed a couple from last week's episode. Here we have Graydon. I don't believe, I think your name sounds familiar, but I, I guess I didn't look at your stuff we're gonna go to the one that interests me the most which is this one here this shot looks beautiful okay ah the shutter your shutter speed was too low but this shot would this shot is still great mind you but your shutter definitely should have been higher here so that the back could have been like really really uh like in focus and kind of just sharp and the ball this is a nice shot it's a little zoomed in like really close but everything is in frame so i can't complain it's the same thing like it's really punched in but everything's in frame so i can't complain this is a cool shot i like these this is dope this is dope okay i'm just gonna go off this post alone i'm gonna give these a seven out of ten these are cool moving on we got chase hey dtv been watching your videos for a long time about two years now whoa I'm from Boston, a freshman at Belmont Hill, and I use the Canon R7. Photos are below. Check out the Instagram, CK Prods. Okay, most recent gallery. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and look at your gallery then. I think that's what we should look at. Let's see. Okay, these look a little raw. These look a little raw, like they could use some editing. I'm just gonna say it like that. They look fresh out of camera. I'll say it that much. But everything is in frame. I'm seeing a lot of back turn shots and just a lot of stationary standing ones. I'm not really seeing any action lacrosse shots, which I would like to see a little more of. DTV all sports. Okay, I guess this was like what you wanted to show me from all the sports you've taken. All right, let me see. I'm just gonna scroll down through here. I'm probably gonna zoom in a bit, but I'm just gonna scroll down uh, through here. Okay, these basketball ones are cool. I'm not really a fan of this shot here just because of when you kind of took the shot. So the picture of the ball on the ground kind of being squished into the ground, it's not really like, it's not appealing to the eye. Like you definitely should have took this shot while it was in one like in the player's hand rather his left or his right whatever the case may be or maybe on its way to the ground but uh i mean composition wise it's beautiful shot wise it's beautiful i love the low angle i love, I love the reflection you get on the ground same thing with this photo right here all these photos here just really nice the reflection you get you did a great job with that and the action shot here is beautiful your basketball ones are cool it's just these lacrosse ones, man. Like there's, okay, here we are, here we are. We got some action lacrosse ones. Okay, there we go, there we go. I don't know what was that first one you sent me, but I mean, A, yeah. Okay, these are cool, these are cool. The only thing I would just say is work on your editing. Just the indoor baseball, the indoor basketball ones were great. All the other sports, everything just looks raw. So I'm gonna also give these a seven out of 10. These are cool. Next, moving on, we got Rico. All these photos were shot on the Canon M50 Mark II with a 50 mil, the nifty 50. I'm sorry. It's a good entry level lens, but I just don't like it. Uh, Cause it's just so, it's an entry level lens. I can't really be mad at the production of it and the price of it just because of, you know, I can't be mad at the quality it gives because of the price that it costs. I just recently bought myself a 70 to 200, beautiful. I've been doing photography for five months now. Here's my Instagram. I'm gonna just gonna look at the post you currently sent me. Okay, grainy, but it's a vibe. So I'll give you that. I like that you shot between this. It's just like this shot should have been zoomed in a lot more. So like, oh, I can't zoom in on here, but this shot definitely should have been zoomed in more. Ah, uh, this, uh, I know like shooting against the sun can be a vibe sometimes, but this is too overbearing. Uh, it's like the clarity is too much on this shot. I'm not sure. So anyway, I mean, this is cool. Uh, I would have like rule of thirds, rule of thirds, because it's like, if there was something in this top left corner for like, as like a foreground, fine or something, like a background, maybe I guess it technically is fine, but like there's just empty space there. So the composition of it just looks weird. Okay. I can definitely tell you took these natural lighting and I'm not a huge fan of the editing, but it's not horrible. Okay, I'm gonna give these overall a five out of 10. So what I would just say, just work on your editing a bit and then your shot composition for a lot of things. 
That's pretty much from the photos that I've just seen here. Next, we have Aiden Hunt. I'm a 16 year old videographer. Thanks, Damon. Uh, well, you're, I'm, you're welcome. I didn't do anything, but you know, uh, you're welcome. <laughs> oh, we got a video. We got a video. Let's go. Go. Let's go. Go. Hey. You definitely got that like that that fast paced motion of like basketball shots going on so like all your shots are very beautiful like you shooting under the basket it, it helps so that when you're editing you get that fast paced vibe when you're editing and you you're doing a great job with that 100 percent i love the little transition effects like they're they're dope i love the way everything's syncing up with the beat this is great Hey, I love the zoom ins and the zoom outs. Beautiful. This is beautiful. Love this. Uh, I'm going to give this mix a 7 out of 10. This is cool. Editing was cool. Highlights were cool. There was nothing super special about it. Like, there could have been more sound effects used. It could have been like a more storytell value. You know what I'm saying? That's like when you get that real 10 out of 10 vibe. But like, overall, it was cool though. It was nothing crazy. Like, it was, it was dope. Shots were good. Editing was cool. Like, a little, little calm mix. A little calm mix. I make a bitch say, hey, yo, bounce on road, shake it to a family. All right, next we have Ryan. Been doing photography for about a month now. Use the Canon Rebel T3i. Gotcha. Let's see what you're working with. I like these. Um, well, I liked them. I don't know how or when did I see these, but not a huge fan of the way you're displaying them. Like these two right here. These are cool. Stationary shots. Nothing too crazy about. I'm trying to stop saying that. But I mean, realistically, like, these are pretty normal shots. There's no action shots here. They're pretty much just all, like, kind of, like, standard around shots. So, 5 out of 10. Next, we have uh, Eli. But you submitted twice, so we're just going to go to this one. Hey, Damon, I started my photography business around one year ago, and I would love some constructive criticism. I used the Sony Alpha 9 Mark II. I don't know why I say Alpha. I don't know why you typed Alpha. The Sony A9. So we're going to go here first. Love the golf shots. These are cool. Oh, this is beautiful. Okay, we're going to go here. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I was trying to look for a flaw. Found one. His foot is cropped out here. I would have zoomed in more. I would have punched in more. Definitely, just so like, you know, if you're going to crop anything out, just make it like a, a close-up shot at that point. Same thing here. Foot out of frame. This is cool. These are okay. Let me see about these. It's like quality is cool, but composition could be better. I love this low angle here. Composition could be better. Um, and I don't know. I'm. I, there could be some more. There could be some more action shots. There could definitely be some more action shots. And I'm just going based off the first three that I saw up here. Honestly, that's all I'm going to go all based off because you didn't send anything in particular. So I'm going to rate everything a. Because quality is cool. Composition is not that bad, but there's just not a lot of storytelling in a lot of these shots. Like. I feel like a lot more could be happening, especially like with baseball photography. Like, I feel like when you were at this game, there should have been a lot better shots here. Um, and you seem to have like used these shots to kind of summarize the game. So I feel like you could have got better shots from this game. Um, the soccer ones are cool. There's nothing too crazy about these. Set it again. I'm gonna give these ones a six out of 10. I'm being extra critical with you specifically because you have a great camera and a great lens. So I, I, I expect a little bit better. So definitely just work on Next time you submit, you may you might have like the type of shots that I'm looking for, but they're not here within these first three. So if you submit again, send something in specific, but for right now, six out of 10. Next we have Nando. Nando? Okay. Hello, I'm a 14 year old photographer and I've been taking photos for about a, a what? Okay. This is a dope shot. This is beautiful. I really like this. This is very creative. Something too crazy here. Interesting. I'm more impressed with the car rather than the shot, realistically. And then there was an Instagram link down here. Okay. Yeah, these all look pretty unedited. And I've seen what you can do, so. Five out of 10. I would definitely just say, I mean, it's just not that much work. And then when I did went go look at some of the soccer work that you did post, it was unedited. So, but this, this shot here was dope. This shot here was really dope. Next we have Fernando. Next we have, I have no idea how to say your name, Abigail. So we're gonna just go with that one. Oh, hi, my name is Abby. I'm a 14 year old photographer based in Colorado and I love your work. 
appreciate you. Uh, I've been taking photos for a couple months now, and I shoot with the Canon Rebel T7. Let me know what you think I should work on. Got you. Okay, so we're going to go from here. This is a cool shot. I would have got a lower angle just to see some of their faces a little more. I feel like that could have made the shot a whole lot more just uh, impactful, cinematic, emotional. I don't know. I like I like this. This is cool. Like I like the way you use utilize rule of thirds here. Foot out of frame. Nice close up shot. Ah, this would have been a dope shot, but one you're standing up, so I would have rather you got a lower angle with this. And also, uh, he's out of frame a bit. Not a, not a good shot. The ball is clearly going out, so it's clearly going to be a foul. Uh, and also the editing on this, well, there isn't any. And then like the composition's kind of just in as well. I would have aligned myself with them as they were lining up at least a little more and also got a lower angle. Cool shot. Cool shot. Awkward time to pick a photo. Okay. I mean, I just spoke on the things that I think you should work on. I'm going to also give these a 5 out of 10. Next, we have amazed pancake underscore one. Or one underscore. Uh, wow, everybody's 14. Okay. Uh, hey, David, I'm a 14 year old photographer and I started when I was 12 and a half. Okay, you didn't have to throw a half in there, but okay. Uh, I used a Canon uh, 4000D with a 70 to 300 mil, 70 to 300 and a 50 mil. Rate it, exclamation point. Well, you didn't have to scream at me. But okay okay so just looking at everything here i can tell you edit it's looking like on some of them you probably over edit uh foot out of frame framing could have been better framing could have been better this one's cool it's just your your your, your camera or lens or whatever you see it didn't focus on him that much cool shot though i like how you shot between something cool shot everything's in frame mm -mm. feet out of frame out of focus like it's not focused on his face i mean i can definitely tell you edit your work these shots are too overbearing too overbearing i see these overhead baseball shots but these close-ups like the sharpness is definitely there let's look at this one here okay so i would 100 percent say just work on your framing i like the fact that you edit your stuff like even if sometimes you are over editing it's fine like i like the fact that you edit at all and just work on uh if you can i'm not sure if it's your camera or your lens whatever it may be work on making sure that you're focused on whatever it is that you're shooting uh so i'm gonna go ahead and give i'm gonna give it a six out of ten just because of the editing like i said you, you're definitely trying when it comes to the editing and i appreciate that next we have jeffrey douglas uh i'm a hobbyist and a freelancer who shoots near South Bend, Illinois. This is a dope shot. His god damn. Damn. This is cool. This is cool. It makes her look really elongated, but this is cool. It's a dope shot, too. These are all dope shots. I really like these. Uh, I'm going to give all of these together. I mean, it's not. You know what? If I am just rating these three, I'll give you an 8 out of 10. Next, we have Jacob Brumfields. What's up, man? Enjoy your videos. Canon R6 with multiple lenses. Okay. If he was centered, I would. this would have been a little better. Uh, but he is in focus. I'll say that much. It is focused on him. It's just a little too bright. But you know what? It's an, it's an, it's an, interesting, it's an interesting shot. And I can appreciate that with the sky and everything in the background. It's an interesting shot okay 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 just these three i'm gonna give these a six out of ten gonna give these ones a six out of ten uh i mean hold on but i'll i'll, with, I'll withhold the six out of ten for now let's look at some of these it's a cool shot cool 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 okay we're, we're gonna take back the six i'm gonna give you the seven I'm gonna give you a seven out of 10. These are cool. Cool, they just kind of look really like news article worthy. I mean, there's nothing too wrong with that. It just makes them look like stock photos. So that's why it's not like an eight or anything like that, but these are still cool shots. So definitely a seven for sure. All right, that's the first 16. We have four more to go. So we're gonna go right to the bottom. And as y'all can see, there's a lot here. So we're definitely gonna be you know, ready for you know, episode 10, big episode 10. Next we have Deacon Lee. Hey, hope all is well. I started photography almost a year ago. I used to shoot on a Canon Rebel T7 and now I shoot on the Canon RP. Great upgrade. I always look for new ways to improve, whether it be editing or framing. I love the criticism, good and bad. 
all right let me know what you think no problem that's the criticism as a whole it's just always supposed to be set out to improve you no matter how it's good or bad so it's criticism to improve all right we got some prob ones to start in a corvette got you okay these are all natural photos of use oh okay here we go we got some strobe these are all cool something there's, something there's nothing like oh my god about them but they're not bad either i've seen some bad prom photos so i'll give you that uh i'm not i don't like these like the black outsides i don't know how to say it so i'm not even gonna butcher it but you know that that effect yeah framing is good editing is normal framing just wasn't good on that one but the shots themselves pretty very basic for football shots very very basic okay we got some 707 stuff okay first action shot uh framing on this one this is fine framing on this one as well okay i'm gonna have to give everything a five out of ten based off of the stuff you sent the prom photos are cool but it's nothing crazy about them yeah it's just a lot of stationary shots a lot of standing around shots for it to be football you need a lot more action shots five out of ten next we have gavin i submitted in the past and i was honored with the first 10 you got the first 10 out of 10 i just updated my site with some recent events okay okay i would love for you to check it out keep it the great content all right we, we got our first 10 out of 10 in the building he was the oh yeah you were the first uh okay so you said it was which events the, Ir the iverson classic i kind of want to see the basketball ones because i think you got a 10 on your basketball stuff oh my god bro why are you so elite let me zoom in zoom me in man zoom me in i miss seeing your stuff i will tell you that much i miss seeing your stuff man beautiful man these were like layups of photos though it was so many great photo opportunities here it's like a this is like layups honestly this is great though good stuff good stuff you know you know we got ai in the cut all right let me take a look at the other ones got two because you know we love football okay 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 like i i don't i have nothing to say look at the stiff arm one look at the look at this look he juked him he juked him out of socks he's on the ground looking he's gone like i wish i could take pictures at like a beautiful stadium like this i mean i know i probably could it's just you know maybe maybe this upcoming football season who knows but these are great man these are great these are great you already know what i'm about to give you right 10 out of 10 it's everything together like it doesn't get much better than this in terms of photography like you're doing everything you need to do and i get to say that because there's so much substance here because you submitted an entire portfolio from the entire day and you took so many great photos and it covers every basis from the angles to the type of shots to the stationary shots to the close-ups to the low angles to the action shots to the good quality to the good framing to the good positioning to the good editing like you just you did everything you had to do um so i mean listen man beautiful 10 out of 10 great hey man found your channel a few months back and i've been digging the content i appreciate you i started to go heavy into photography about a year ago started with the rebel t7i and now i have the e7r3 Oof. I use the Sony 85mm 1.8. I dabble in a few niches of street photography and portraits. Okay, so let's look at this. Cool shot here. Okay. Okay. I would have wanted like a little higher here, but you know what? He's in frame, he's in focus, I'm fine with it. This is a cool shot. Okay, I'm gonna check out your website before I give, I mean, I'm gonna check out your Instagram before I give my rating. Oh, uh, you got like the black and white vibe going on, okay. See, now these I like a lot more than those sports ones you just submitted. You submitted the wrong photos because all of these are great. Like, you, I understand I do a lot of sports, but I love shots beyond sports photography, and that's going to get you a much better rating. I love these. This is beautiful. Like, you're telling a story. You're telling a story here. This is Nork? I'm from Nork. Where are you from? You're in Jersey. You know what? Okay. That's 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 amazing that's amazing yeah literally yeah literally because i saw the thing said norik i'm like what uh this is beautiful though bro um i'm gonna give your street photography ones i'm gonna give these an eight out of ten the storytelling in these is beautiful you do a great amazing job of telling stories and i, I love these these are dope just honestly i personally feel like that's your bread and butter the sports photography the street photography and portraits though yeah i mean this seems like the most thing you post i, I mean I, like i said i understand why you submitted sports because that's what i promote a lot it's not just sports please people you can submit things other than sports photography i'd prefer it honestly
Cause like, you know, we get sports all the time. So I wanna see something different. Okay, I think this is the last one. We have lucky number 20. We have JJ Steen. Uh, rate my work, please. You've seen my work before, so I was hoping for something higher than a six. Uh, from looking at these thumbnails, it might be higher than a six. I love the tunnel vision single color thing you got going on here, beautiful. Okay. Okay. This is a nice shot. Okay. Yeesh. Not a fan of this one. Nice shot here. Okay. Just because there's a lack of shots. Let me see. What's this here? Yeah, these are all the same. Just because there are a lack of shots, you are going to get a six. I'll give you that. These are, these are better than a five because all of these, the framing is good and the editing is good. So I'll give you that. This is the shot I don't like. Okay, I didn't mean to just download that, but whatever. This is the shot I just don't like. It's just like the, the angle. I'm not really a big fan of the angle, but I mean, you couldn't really control it. It was happening where you, you were just where you were. You got the shot. You did what you had to do. Just unfortunate at the time. Uh, but I'm going to give those a six. I'm going to give us a six just because like, like, you know how baseball photography is. There's a whole lot of story to be told during a baseball game. I feel like shots can get a lot better than this in terms of the action shots. For right now, you got the basic shots, which is of the hitters and the pitcher and just the one sliding post or the one sliding shot. I feel like there, you could have had a lot, uh, a lot more variety to the, the shots you submitted. Okay, there we go. I forgot I had this on the whole time. Uh, but there we go. You know, we just got that rating video out of the way. There goes episode nine. We did give a 10 out of 10 this video, so that is great. I think we're on a streak of giving 10 out of 10. I think for the past three to four episodes, I've given 10 out of 10s each, each episode. Uh, and I think one of the episodes I get more than one, but I don't know. But yeah, so once again, thank y'all so much for everything. I appreciate y'all so, so much. Uh, it's been going great. We're at 6.5k at the time of me recording this and I don't even know where we're at by the time I'm, you know, uploading this. Don't forget to check out the playlist of the rating videos. You know, if you haven't already, go through the wormhole of looking through all of the rating videos. It's a pretty interesting series, I'll tell you that much. I am going to be introducing a new series soon. I just need it to be after prom season. So like, I want to say towards the middle of or end of June is when I will be introducing that series to the channel. Just give me some time. I don't have time to do it now just because prom is crazy right now. The next video that's going to be after this one is probably going to be the last POV baseball video for this season. Maybe not. Who knows? But that's what's going to be after this one. Thank y'all so much for everything. I appreciate y'all so much. Don't forget to drop likes. We're off to the channel. Don't forget to check out the merch link in the description below. I don't really got the merch on right now. Psych. I do. And, and, and another thing. Check out the preset link in the description below. And most of all, check out that broadcast link. Make sure you join the DTV Army. I don't know if it's true or not, but I heard word through the grapevine is everybody that in a, everybody that's in the DTV army. That's just what I heard though. I don't know though. <laughs> what do I know? Okay, I'm done. I'm sorry. I appreciate y'all so much. Don't forget to jump likes out to the channel. Don't miss your creative. See you next one. Peace. See you next Monday. Cause I'm locked in.